Yes, we've got some great food on the show today and crafting with Adina. Hi, Adina. Hi. We're making really cool crafts that will not only keep the kids entertained when we kick off summertime on the Memorial Day, but also are pretty patriotic here. What yes. Do you do? So these are just safety pins and... I asked you this earlier, and of course you said you were born in the 90s, so you don't remember. Yep. But in the 80s, we used to make these friendship bracelets. Oh, yeah, and like you would jelly take shoes, this, yes. Yeah, remember and you that. would... <laughs> so you would stick them on there, and then you just take string, and after you have a bunch of them done, you just string them right onto the string, and you make that, and you tie it on each end. Look at that. And then I used 17 white, 17 blue, and 17 red, so you need to measure kind of your, how big your wrist is. It fits my wrist, but yeah. see, it kind of cuts the circulation off a little. Well, that's not good. <laughs> well, that way your hand will be blue and it'll match the rest of your that's outfit. That's right. It's patriotic. So we are patriotic <laughs> today. We're going to show you more cool crafts for the family for summertime. And I'm also going to take you aboard the San Antonio Honor Flight. We'll introduce you to the oldest person who is traveling. She just happens to be a local woman who is a combat nurse, Erlene Sheets. And you will take a trip. That's coming up. And here's Fiona with more. Summer travel is upon us, including the Memorial Day weekend. So if you're planning to hit the roads on a road trip, we're gonna make sure you have everything you need in your car. And Becca Siebenhaller yeah. from the Container Store is here to make sure you've got the right kind of junk in your trunk. <laughs> That's right. We wanna make sure you are all prepared, everything is in its place, and we get you there organized and on your way. So what's the first things that you need in your trunk? Well, there's some things we want to keep in our trunk all the time. We always want jumper cables, a flashlight, maybe a roll of paper towels, and a first aid kit, no matter what. So what if you have a pet going with you on the trip? If you've got a pet with you, we wanna make sure we're bringing along their necessities too. We've got food for them, water, a, their favorite toy, and of course waste pickup bags. We gotta get that taken care of too. All right, we're gonna have more tips from Becca coming up on exactly what you need in your front seat, your middle seat, your back seat, everything. So stick around. It's humid out there. I'm gonna stay very humid. So is it a good day to go for an outdoor run? Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> if you really like the humidity, um, as we treadmill, go into the party of one. <laughs> exactly. Treadmill, party of one. Um, tomorrow, it, well, we're going to start to see some heavier showers and thunderstorms Thursday and Friday. But the weekend is just going to be cloudy. Yes, it will continue to be humid. But we're going to kind of get the really heavy rain, I think, out of, out of the system Thursday, and especially Thursday late dinner time, and then also on Friday. So overall, I think the upcoming long weekend looks pretty nice. Back to Thank the Buckhorn. Yes, uh, back to the Buckhorn. Jeff and Fiona standing by with today's edition of SA Live, which is live. <laughs> yes, I like that version better. <laughs> I, do, I do too. Hey, you know what was on last night? It was, of course, The Bachelorette, which premiered. And uh, we have a list of uh, uh, reasons that women find men attractive, according to science. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Uh, There's a science behind it? Mm -hmm. Y'all want to see one? What, sure, what, right what? there. Wow, <laughs> yeah. We got a joker right there. Your, your wall is looking thinner, but never mind. With a little bit sticking out. Is that a dollar? <laughs> yeah. yeah, really. Calm That's down, awesome. man. Calm down. Watch out. What makes a man attractive or even mm -hmm. more attractive, Leslie, in your opinion, quickly? Manners. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right here. <laughs> Nice try. I'm having, I'm having deja vu. I thought we did this recently because it wasn't one of them arms or something. Oh, that was the most attractive feature. Oh, this most is just in features. general. Yeah. Oh, in general. I, We're I trying think... to up the game here, Mark. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, I know. Good I manners. I think intellect's important. I think manners are important. Intellect, mm -hmm. manners. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. manners in any situation. She was also going to say a sense of humor. Yep, yep. Nah, I don't care about that. <laughs> well, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so he here are a few things that are, are on the list. Having a dog. Oh. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Study shows that guys w who have dogs get more dates. Proof that someone actually loves him. <laughs> yes, he can take care of something. <laughs> yeah. That's probably it, actually. Yeah. Um, another one is wearing red. Uh, what? Yeah. Really? Sorry. So wear, 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 red, red, wear, wear red. red tie tomorrow. Uh, you're married. Yeah. And oh, um, red. Oh, there red. we go. Yeah, there we go. I'll leave it to the guy wearing red to take a shot of himself. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie! Way to go, Eddie. <laughs> and uh, believe it or not, a certain element of uh, maybe danger or risky behavior. Women like Actually, that's the, true. That's true. It's kind of like the women always went for the guys in the band, you know? 
Or play the guitar. <laughs> element of, of rough guy. Oh, yeah, like, like rock and roll guys. Yeah, rock and roll guys. Like they always mad be for those guys, you know? Like the danger zone guy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, what's that old joke? How do you get the drummer off the porch paying oh, for the pay pizza? For pizza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -uh. It ain't happening. All right, guys, thanks so much. We'll Bye. take it from here. I think good right, looks so, are important, aren't they? Well, good looks are important, and I like the sense of humor. And, you know, Leslie was saying manners, and that is on here, kindness and doing good deeds. How about a good car? Well, a good car probably means that he's got at least some money. <laughs> So. Hey, beautiful, I'll be back to pick you up later. I think that goes in with the whole wallet thing that you just did. Either <laughs> I don't that know what that Or the is. cool car. Obviously, that ain't working. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, last night was the premiere of The Bachelorette. And uh, this guy right here, Christian, that first guy, my 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 favorite. Yeah, this Seems like the totally normal right, guy. This guy, that guy was a professional Canadian. He's a loser. And then this guy's got a problem. Yeah, this is Chad. Chad. You got to look out for the wackadoos, even with men. I think. Yeah, Chad's got some anger issues and violent tendencies, and I don't know what's going to happen. But um, I do know that Aaron Rodgers' little brother's on the show. Right? I just, he, I don't think he needs the show to get a date. Well, the fact I that I don't know he's, if he's on there for the right reason. What? You heard me. What do you I think? don't think he's on there for the right reasons. That's what I think. Well, do you think, think the girl's on there for the right reason? Well, I think JoJo is. Yeah, she's from Dallas. I think all those people want to be famous. They should do it like we do, and that's get a TV show. <laughs> this is the greatest personal ad ever. Yeah, it is. Hey, <laughs> what up? Thanks for hanging with us at 1 o'clock every day while you're working. <laughs> We're going to make some really yes. cool observations yes. here with your help. Okay, so, so we want to know what makes your love story unique. Where did you what meet? What is special about it? What did he do? Yes. Uh, did you get all his money? Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, did a blind date go right? You know, did someone play matchmaker? I've tried that. Did someone save your life with resuscitation? <laughs> <laughs> what a cool way. The, the meat cute. It's like the meat cute, you know. So let us know at SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter, and uh, we'll read some of those later on in the show. There's food in the building. Oh, yeah. Celebrate the red, white, and blue this Memorial Day with, this e with these easy-to-do do-it-yourself crafts with Adina Anderson. Hi, Hi Dina. Hello. Hello. We love it when you show up because you always bring sweet stuff. And you know, what she, know. you know what she's wearing right now? Red, which, by the way, whether it's on men or women, apparently... You are found more attractive. That's right, uh, but we you. had to take a shot of Eddie to prove that it's going to be attractive. <laughs> yes. so the attractive guest on the show. <laughs> and we took another shot of Eddie. Stop mashing the buttons, Eddie. <laughs> He's controlling it. That's yeah, I know. True. That's the problem. <laughs> okay. funny. All right. So what do we what do we got here? Well, you are gonna. I'm gonna actually let you stand over I here because you are gonna do. You're gonna be frosting queen. Ooh, frosting with Fiona. Frosting with Fiona. <laughs> Coming to a city near you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, I will frost. Yay. Okay, so frost first away. you're going to use the candy melts, and you're going to do a strawberry here. I've done a couple. They're still cooling, and all you do is melt them. You can melt them in the melting pot that Wilton has, or you could do it in the microwave. It's really easy. You just kind of dip it in there, oh, and then yeah. set them on a plate, and you can, they'll cool by themselves. They'll harden, or you can stick them in the fridge for a little while. Star-spangled strawberries. And then you just dip them in the little oh, sprinkles, look and look how easy that is. And just set it there to dry. There or we go. Pop it in your mouth. <laughs> exactly. There we go. Yes. Now. <laughs> yes. So now I frosted this one for you, but here's one that you can do. And so these are just is. the easy to do. These are fun for the kids to do because they can do it themselves. It's got the tip built in. And just go ahead and have fun with it. I'm going to get you started on oh, this one. No, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, so. I, wait, I want her to learn how to do this because this is about not you know, squirting all over the place. Every time we <laughs> do this, he, his looks so much better than mine does. There you go. He there takes you go. Look, you're this learning. This incredible time. You are and then doing I just great. tend to you're doing a little... smear it all over it because, <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to eat it anyway. <laughs> well, this one's done, so you want to play with the spray paint? Oh, there's. Wait, hold on. Yes. Up. Wait, <laughs> wait. Did you just say there's spray paint for food? Edible spray paint. <gasps> it's so much fun. Is that what this is? <laughs> That's what that is. So you could do, like that one I did red, white, and blue. So here's this one, and all you do. Color mist. It's fun. It's easy. And what the happens? kids can have fun with it. What happens? Yeah, well, stand back, right? Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I would have done that. <laughs> Does it taste good on the frosting? Well, you don't really have a taste. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that. Okay. And then do the red. Look how easy that is. <laughs> there you go. Blue red, tongue white. for the rest of the day. Red, white, blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm thinking if it's on it. food, but you gotta taste it, right? Yeah, well, Robert doesn't have much of a taste. Aerosol. Well, you know, you're, you're not the one it's who did it. It's fun to do. The kids can do it. These are just, you know, easy 
cups to bake cook cupcakes and let you get to frosting some more, you're okay. going to make a little coaster here. Because if you're having a Memorial Day party, don't you want to have something to set your drinks on? Well, yeah, you want to keep the furniture nice. And you may be yes. outside. You don't want drinks to slip or fall. But exactly. you're going to use popsicle sticks. And, and I just use the Americana acrylic paint, which you have over here. And we have the red, white, and blue. And I've already painted some for you. Oh, sorry, I messed that up. Look at there. So we have to glue. <laughs> How do we glue these together? Okay, well, let me show you. Um, the glue gun should be right there in front of you. <laughs> yeah, well, we got, hang on. We got, okay, there's He's the blue field. He's got to fix the flag. Yeah, it's let's close. Be, uh, we need, the flag is waving. <laughs> Maybe, there you go. Okay. okay. <laughs> so what do I do? And so, actually, what you're going to do is you're going to flip it over. Well, see, After you, you've painted. You, you set me up to fail. <laughs> hang on a second. <laughs> let me flip the stick. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> And then is, just and popsicles. Everybody has popsicles around the house. This is the cheapest little fun craft that the kids can do. And go ahead and paint a couple extra popsicles. And you're gonna just run a stream of glue all the way down. All right. <laughs> so a little hot glue does the trick. A little hot glue all the way down. Trying to be neat because I know. Oh, see, I'm always just like you know, it's hot glue. <laughs> well, but I'm I, I'm under the microscope here. Oh, okay. There's, there may be people watching. And then you just put this right there, and it'll hold all your sticks together. It okay. only takes a couple like we a minute a, to dry. We do a second How's your side. Cupcakes going. Look oh, at you. Blue. <laughs> Apparently, blue is my favorite color. Right? You, <laughs> Look, and they have little flags. Oh no, I planted my flag right there. <gasps> Look at you. Here's yes. a rocket ship. Oh my there God. There you go. You gotta have a rocket. rocket. <laughs> I did blue and silver on that one. <laughs> All right, so once this is done, and you can paint a star really easy with the white paint on the front. Let's go ahead and take the acrylic paint. The bottom of my flag shifting. And uh -oh. then dip like one end of your your toothpick and make a dot. So you're using toothpicks mm -hmm. to do the star. And then just take it and kind of pull it up like this. Of course, I'm doing this upside down, but. But this is something fun that kids can learn how to make stars, and then, or you could just do, as my husband says, just do polka dots. <laughs> well, that's how you can get 50 of them, right? Exactly. It's a great opportunity to learn. <laughs> exactly. Yes. That's and I really love cool. those little mason jars. Those are so easy. All I did was take these flags. They sell them at any craft store. They're a kind of material. And then you just take decoupage and decoupage them on there. I put a little hot glue on each end, or you could use a glue dot as well. And then just put sand in there and a candle. And if, you know, you're barbecue or whatever goes into the night, then you have some nice lighting for de and decorative, too. There you go. And all of this is on my website, craftingwithadina.com, all the so instructions. Great. And those cupcakes look awesome, Fiona. Hey. And they're blue red velvet and silver. cupcakes, so red, white, and blue. Well, let me just <laughs> grab one to go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's all those. There you go. Look at those. Great barbecue ideas, great party ideas. Thank you, Adina. And fun and for the kids. You can always find out more on Crafting with Adina and then, of course, <laughs> our website at <laughs> salive.com. It's and for real. They are red velvet cupcakes. Yum. Fiona is I pledging, just thought I'd... <laughs> pledging allegiance to the cupcake. <laughs> That's it. All right. We've, we, we know that people travel over Memorial Day, and mm -hmm. that's why it's important to keep everything organized. If you're one of those people, we have help. Yes. Yeah, so we brought the container store in to help you become a real road warrior over that weekend. I'm hungry. Get a snack. Are we there yet? Not yet. Let it go. Let it go. Make her stop singing. I have to go to the bathroom. Again. I don't like sitting in the middle. Do I need to pull this car over? Going on a road trip can be a big hassle if you're not prepared. And with Memorial Day coming up, we want to make sure you've got everything you need in your car to make that trip go as smoothly as possible. So I've got Becca Siebenaller from the Container Store here to help us out. Well, let's first divide this into three different zones. We're going to have the front seat. We'll talk about the front seat. We'll talk about the back seat. And we'll talk about the trunk. And we'll talk about how to organize each of those areas so everything is in its place. All right, let's tackle the front seat where the driver, the most important person, is. So it's really <laughs> important that the driver's area stay clutter free. It's really nice to have a little cup holder here where we can keep everything easy to access. The sunglasses, a little cash maybe, and your phone that has the maps on it. It's a great way to keep this area clean but also easy to access. 
The next thing is we know that all of our, our kiddos and drivers are all using electronics to get places and to stay entertained on those long road trips. Using a sturdy charger like this makes a lot of sense. This is the four port USB car charger. It has Instasense technology that automatically senses how much power each of your devices need and it'll deliver the fastest charge possible for the device that has the lowest battery. How do we maintain order in the back seat? Yes, yeah, such a small space. We really need to divide and conquer here. First, let's talk trash. We <laughs> want to have a, a special place for that trash so everybody in the family knows where to put their cups, their napkins, all of that kind of thing. Then when you stop to fill it for gas, you empty that guy and you'll be all set. We want to keep those kiddos entertained on these, especially on the long road trips. So create a command center for them. This is a backseat organizer. We can have their coloring books and crayons, the electronics handy for them, and it stays out of the floorboard or out of the rear window area of the small car. And then last but not least, food and drinks. Keep some handy right next to the passengers here where they can easily reach instead of having to stop for uh, unplanned stops and costly purchases, you can have it right here in the back seat. So instead of having to stop at either convenience stores or fast food drive throughs because everybody's hungry in the back seat, yeah. you would just say go right in here. That's right. Look at that, totally stackable and we've got the right kind of junk in this trunk. That's right, right, Becca? This is what you need in your trunk at all times. That's right. Trunk organizers really help you get the most use out of this limited space back here. So you can tote around your sports equipment and camping gear, pool gear, all of that very easily, even everyday groceries. Now there's a couple of things we want all the time in our trunk for, for roadside emergencies, like a first aid kit, roll of paper towels, a blanket, maybe some water back there. Keep that year round. Right, for more information on the container store, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. You know, the great thing is that the Container Store has workshops you can attend that will teach you how to pack like a pro. So you can just walk into the Container Store. They start July 3rd, um, or visit them through through July 3rd, excuse me, and you can also receive some discounts for attending. Yeah, Container Store. they got a lot of great stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, straight ahead on SA Live, we'll introduce you to the oldest veteran aboard the Honor Flight San Antonio. She's a combat nurse with an incredible story that I can't wait to share with you. And we're whipping up some Peruvian cuisine for the summer nights. Ahead with our friends at Chilitos Express Latin Fusion. Good food and good times coming up on SA Live. When considered Hey, welcome back to SA Live. I'm Jeff Roper. Thanks for watching today. I had the opportunity to take a trip over the weekend, the trip of a lifetime for some 26 San Antonio veterans. We went to Washington, D.C. to thank them and show them the memorial that's been built in their honor. One of the passengers, a 98-year-old or soon-to-be 98-year-old combat nurse and the oldest participant. I want you to meet Miss Erlene Sheets. Here's her incredible story. June 5th, 1944, and combat nurse Erlene Sheets had just married her soldier sweetheart, George. I married at St. Mary's Church of England there in Tidworth, and uh, on the way back in the blackout skies of England, there were the rangers and the paratroopers. Those big planes were going over. The invasion had started. Her new husband left for combat soon after and would eventually return wounded to the hospital where Earlene was stationed, serving her country and saving lives. It was the best thing I've ever done. Take care of those beautiful young boys. They were 18, 19, 20 to 25, and they were over there fighting for us, for them, our country. God bless them all. And our hospital, in the first seven months from D-Day to January, seven months. We had 30,000 people to go through. And we only lost 12, 12 patients, that's all. Erlene's journey aboard the San Antonio Honor Flight takes place just before her 98th birthday, making her the oldest veteran among the 26 on the overnight trip. And she loves the special treatment. It's such an honor to go. And I'm gonna go with about 25 uh, soldiers. I'm the only lady 
that's going uh, as a with battered. Touring Washington, D.C. from the front seat of the plane to the front seat of the tour bus, along with her daughter and guardian, it's the ultimate thank you. You know, as a guardian, you know, I, I look forward in doing that, and I can understand my mother feeling like it's bittersweet because many of the people that she knew and that she was friends with did not make it home. Seeing the World War II Memorial, even in the worst of weather, has brought joy to the life of a woman who is loved by many and respected by all. I've had a good life. I don't have any regrets of anything. I was always a good little girl. And I'm a good old lady. <laughs> no. Only thing I want to say is God bless America. We love you, Miss Sheets. Thank you for celebrating your life with us on the Honor Flight San Antonio. For more about how you can sponsor a veteran and make their lifetime trip happen, go to honorflightsanantonio.com. And a big thank you and SA Live salute to Air Force Federal Credit Union for making our trip possible. We'll have another story for you tomorrow about a canine veteran that joined us. I want you to be back, back here tomorrow at 1 o'clock. All right, straight ahead on SA Live, from weather to location and what to pack, local blogger Jada Pickett shares some awesome tips. You want to do the perfect picnic? we got it all laid out for you. That's next. Wednesday. It's time to play freeze frame. This is a close-up of a San Antonio landmark. Do you know what it is? Remember, it's a small portion of a larger picture of something around town. Once you think you know, go to our website, salive.com, and enter to win. The first person to correctly guess what it is wins a $100 gift certificate for a brand-new pair of frames from VisionWorks. So send in your guess, and good luck. Remember, you have to go to our website to enter to win. Not Facebook, not Twitter. All right, there's a place in town that's changing people's lives one pound at a time. And Dr. Jacob Torres from the Institute for Functional Health is here with more. I got to tell you, I hear your patient's stories, and right. it is incredible. It right. is so life-changing. They're so happy with where they are right now. Let's tell people who may not know what functional health is. Yes, so it's kind of interesting that you mentioned that because... People are looking for alternative approaches, you know? So right now, more than ever before, people are really wanting more than just a prescription. You know, right. people are wanting more than just surgery. People want answers to what they're struggling with. And that's what we provide. And that's basically the study of functional medicine. So, you know, at the Institute for Functional Health, when patients come in, it's a totally different approach, you know? One, it's patient-centered. So you're gonna see a smiling face right from the get-go because we all understand the struggle that you're going through. And then second of all, we're gonna make sure that we're testing correctly, in depth. Uh, so that way we can see exactly what the root of a problem is. If someone's struggling with blood pressure, cholesterol, can't lose weight, hormone issues, back pain, we want to figure out the root of the problem. And that's what we do at the Institute for Functional Health. So it's exciting. And what you just said right there, that's what sets you apart and that's what makes right. you unique is that difference in the evaluation process. Right, right, right. You know, so at first, when someone comes into our office, before we even accept them as a patient and they, they've decided that they want to take part in our services, they, we, it's a 30-minute interview with myself, so I'm actually the one that's sitting down, interviewing them, seeing what's going on with them, because I also need to make sure that, one, I can help them, and two, are they going to be compliant with what we need them to do in order to really fix the problem? So it's a chance for us to be able to see if we can, if we can help. Many times we can, and we have proof here on the set today to we kind of sure go into do. that. We sure do. Let's talk about the Garcia story, yes. all right, because that's Letty right there, and we have a before picture. Right. Let's talk a little bit about her journey, and um, and I know there's there's there were hormone issues as well. You've right. done a whole lot, but let's take a look at at Rick and his before photo because these two lost a com uh, a total of 60 pounds yes. together. Yes, so they've lo both lost 60 pounds together, combined loss of 60 pounds. Uh, Rick is one of our public servants here in San Antonio, so he heard about us through uh, through his academy. We talked about certain things at the academy. He said, you know what, I want something different. I want to go in there and really see what's going on. He was struggling with pain. He was struggling with testosterone. He was struggling with blood pressure. He, and he said, oh, by the way, my wife is also struggling with health issues. So she had some endocrine problems. She had some, some anxiety, so some hormone imbalances. They both wanted to lose weight. And more importantly, they wanted to get their life back. Absolutely. You know? And so, Letty, just tell me about your journey and how it has been. Um, it's been a struggle. It hasn't been easy. Um, but with the support of Dr. Torres and his staff, it's made it a little bit easier. 
Um, the weight hasn't come off as fast as you see some other people, especially with men, they tend to lose weight a lot faster. Um, but it's come off gradually and it, um, it, it's made a big difference in my life. Um, the hormone issues I was having before, I'm not having them anymore. I'm a lot healthier, a lot happier and stress level has been reduced and most importantly I've lost weight and I feel a lot better. And a lot better and Rick let's talk uh, for a little bit just about your journey and how it has changed your life. I mean this is no pills, this is no surgery, this is and I, I think that's what really makes it attractive. Yeah that's correct. I, I lived a very healthy uh, lifestyle for the most part for years. Uh, several years ago I started having issues where I just didn't feel like working out. I, I wouldn't really get off the couch and get to go to work, come home. And I just, I knew something was wrong. So uh, um, I met Dr. Torres and his staff and talked to my wife and told her, hey, I think it's something that we need to do. We need to, we need to try something because everything that we're doing is not working. Uh, we went to the, to the institutional health, um, talked to the staff, and it's, it's been awesome. I mean, I can't say enough about it. I, I tell everybody that I meet, uh, especially my coworkers, uh, I mean, we're at the gym now. We're, we're doing a lot more things together as a family. We take off. We, uh, I mean, we actually look forward to those, those, those hikes and, and the, the jogs and right. trying to do stuff with the. And, and Letty, you were mentioning, hey, when you call the office, I mean, you, you get people on the phone. They'll talk you through anything right away. Yeah, and it, it's not just like why you're a patient there. Even when you leave the program, if there's an issue that comes up, you can call them and Dr. Torres will squeeze you in that same day. Um, and so that's really important because I think a lot of other programs sometimes, once you're done, you're done, you're done right. and not with this program. Not with this program. All right, let's talk about what we've got for uh, our viewers today. A what special you know? offer, uh, free functional you know health that? assessment for the I'm first 25 like, callers, correct. am I right? So you want to call that phone number on your screen right now. Take the first step into changing your life for the better. 468-1891. Again, that is 468 468- 1891, a free functional assessment to the first 25 callers, ifhealth.com for more information. Now you can also text appointment, yes. right, to 44. 44- Two 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 again. That's four four two two two. But we urge you make the call first. Don't worry, someone is going to pick up that phone. You heard it from Letty and Rick here first. All right. Thank you so much, you guys. We really appreciate you guys sharing your story. Coming up, our favorite eight-year-old author, Aiden Sandoval, is back with the perfect summer reading list for your kiddos. That's next. And we. Have- earlier in Plugged In, what is your unique love story? What makes your love story unique? Sherry says he insulted my Green Bay shirt and we've been together ever since. It's our huge know that we may be breaking the law here, Aiden. You're supposed to be in school right now, aren't you? But you're pretty advanced. Yeah. Yeah, it's time for Aiden's Book Club. Here's my buddy, Aiden Sandoval, published author and smarter than everybody in this room. So you've been uh, gearing up for summertime, my brother, yes. and we're going to be reading. So you picked out three really cool books for us. What do you like to do in the summer besides read? I like to go to New Mexico and White Sands. And White Sands. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Did you hear that, Mom and Dad? Are we going to White Sands, New Mexico eventually? There's Mom and Dad. They're very proud of you. And we're glad they brought you down here today so the truant officer can talk to them, not me. All right, but let's start with a really cool book written by some famous people. Tell me about this. This book is a great big backyard. In this book, in this book, it also has a list of... National Park's a perfect way to find out where this summer. This book reminds kids that you need to put down their games and phones because there's a big backyard of America waiting to be explored. Yeah, put down the phone. (laughs) So who wrote this book? Uh, The former first lady and her daughter. Laura and Jenna Hager, the Bush ladies, wrote this book, right? That's really cool. So I bet you they've been to a lot of these places. Where would you like to go that you haven't been yet? I want to go... Uh, flip the page. Flip the page, yes. Where do you want to go? That place. Oh, I've been there. You see Old Faithful? Yeah, man, that's really cool. That's that's Yellowstone. That's really that's really neat, too. If you I just want to go to Yellowstone to see the pit. To see the pit? Yeah. What is, what is that? That doesn't sound it's good. It's like a, <laughs> a pit full of, like... Lizards? Zombies. Uh, I think it's like I rocks and stuff. It probably is. Kind of like the quarry. That's where yeah. people shop. Yeah. And La Cantera, that's Spanish for the quarry. Did yeah. you know that? Okay, very good. Now, well, tell me about this next book, since and we're avoiding all the pins. And, ne- and this next book is A to Z Mysteries Detective Camp. 
Dink, Josh, and Rooster Owls are off to detective camp for the summer. But when they get there, they realize that there is going to be a bigger mystery to solve than planned. Yeah, there's not many pictures in this book. That means you get sucked into the mystery of it all. Were there any surprises in this one? Uh... Because I love detective books. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Cabin in the Woods. <laughs> but that's a grown-up movie. <laughs> it's kind of weird messing with your head. So, any surprises in there? Should we look for anything to happen and pop out at us? <laughs> no. Okay, maybe not. All right. Tell me about this book, little man. And last but not least, we have uh, Judy, Moody, and Stink. It's a mad, 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 mad treasure hunt. Okay, let's go back to the name here, because this is not good. Any woman named Moody can be dangerous, and anybody named Stink, that smells. But they're kind of famous, aren't they? Yes. All right, so tell me what happens in this book. It's summertime for the Moody's, and they get to go on a real-life treasure hunt and for gold and a ride on an actual pirate ship. Oh, so they mean pirates. Yes. Let me hear your pirate impersonation. Then go ahead. <laughs> what? It's only an hour show. Go ahead and do your pirate impersonation. <laughs> Arr! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Arg, matey. This is a good book or I'll make you walk a plank. <laughs> there you go. It's a mad, 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 not mad world, but mad treasure hunt. Very good, Aiden. Thank you, buddy, for those great recommendations and happy late birthday, okay? You're welcome. We're going to let you buy everybody here lunch since you're yes. the richest guy in the room, all right? You can get more of Aiden's recommendations on our website, salive.com. You're still single, right? You don't have a girlfriend yet, right? Right. Did you shave this morning? Did you shave this morning? No. You didn't? Good. Don't want to start shaving, and then taxes will show up right after that. Can you hang around a little bit? Read to me? Good, because I'm, I'm, I'm illegitimate. Coming up, get ready to pack up your picnic basket and roll out hard. We're going to pull out your favorite blanket, too. Local blogger Jada Pickett is back with some awesome picnic tips that'll have you and your family covered. That is next. And a fresh twist to your summer dish list. Peruvian recipes from all over the world with Chef Al Maldonado. Big Al will be with us. You stay with us, because Aiden's favorite show is on KSAT 12. Right, buddy man? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. like a Polaroid over there, shake it. Time to reveal today's freeze frame. It is our Lady of the Lake University, Boom. if you were paying attention. And Lisa Leos knew that. She wins a $100 gift certificate for a brand new pair of frames from VisionWorks. Congratulations. It is the perfect weather for someone to feed you on the grass or take a picnic or just get out and enjoy what will be, I think it's going to be like 88 degrees today. Yeah, well, as long as it's not humid. Hey, no, I love dining al fresco. So our good friend and strollers and confetti blogger, Jada Pickett, shares some awesome outdoor picnic tips for the entire family. You'll be picnicking like a boss. Hi everyone, Jada Pickett here from StrollersAndConfetti.com and owner of the TheNannyBox.com. I was invited from SA Live to share with you guys some awesome outdoor picnic tips. Picnics are a major staple for my nanny friends and I. They're the perfect complement to any play date and they're just another creative way to make mealtime fun. Now the first thing I like to consider when planning all of my picnics is actually the weather. Hopefully it's not raining, but if it is, you can actually have a picnic indoors, which is a lot of fun. I've tried it. Now if it's not raining, my ideal picnic temperature would be anywhere between 75 to 80 85-ish degrees, which means you better get out there anytime before noon or after 5 p.m. And a dinner picnic is actually a lot of fun too. The next thing is location. Now your backyard and your front yard, those are obvious choices and they're really great, but San Antonio has some amazing places such as the Botanical Garden, the Hardburger Park, Orlando Library in case you want to change things up. Next is what to bring. Now I like to bring something that's very lightweight and easy to clean like this mat that you pick up from Target. The next thing is meals. Now I like to keep it simple when it comes to picnics, but you can always add in fruit with a simple PB&J and store it in your typical sandwich package. The next thing is entertainment. Parties are always started at a picnic, so we always like to bring three Bs, books, bubbles, and balls. So there you guys have it. Now if you wanna store everything, just use an open tote that's easy to pull everything from, and there you have it. Go out and have some fun and plan your perfect picnic. Until next time, thank you guys. I'm pulling out the rubber gloves here for you. <laughs> Time to eat. Yes, hand me some. Yeah, uh, Thank Al you. Maldonado's here from <laughs> Chilitos Express. And Al, let's let's make summer sizzle, shall we? Sizzle. How That's you doing, what's buddy? happening over Flower. here. Stuff is sizzling. You want some gloves? Yeah. 
Yeah, we know Al. Al's famous for his tamales during the holiday season, but today we're 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 you know mixing up some dishes here. We got some yeah, Latin summertime, Latin fusion, summertime. 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 So what are we gonna be making? We're gonna do uh, mahi mahi Peruvian ceviche. You know, ceviche is well known around the world. Everybody has their own ways to do ceviche. Different countries have their ways to do ceviche, but uh, Peru is the most famous place to do ceviche. All okay. Right. Okay. But the difference between you know As the ceviche Chile. here. And the ceviche is the yellow chilies. It's the big chili. Right, because this is only grows on the mountains of Peru. And that gives a particular flavor. Like chili limo has a citrus fla flavor okay. to it. Okay. Okay. Very citrusy flavor to it that it makes the ceviche taste a lot better. Okay. 100% better. Okay. Well, let's make things happen. Then we're going to be uh, okay. we're gonna make it a, a big favorite of Fiona's over there. Yes, uh, so I've got the sirloin sizzling. Yeah. Where's the beef? <laughs> it's right the, here. The fish is a bit of been dice. It's a mahi mahi oh, fish. Mahi so mahi. Been dice. Okay. 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 We'll put it in the bowl. You put it on the bowl. Okay. Okay. People can find Chilitos Express in Bernie. Bernie, right? Texas. You also are on the road Main a lot. Okay. okay. So now what? So what you do? You, what you're gonna do? You're gonna find the yellow. Cheese, I mean the yellow pepper from Peru and the limo pepper from Peru. Nice. You can buy it in Latin American stores and you're gonna mix it with uh, cilantro. Cilantro. Okay. Oh, that'll get and it. then you're gonna chop it up very dicey, really much, okay? And maybe just a little bit of garlic on it. You know how to okay. do garlic? You do that with your hand, right? That's yeah. The best way to smash and you dice that up, it. But you put what, a little bit in it. And what's gonna happen, it's gonna come out with something like this. Oh, you got it to already me. made. So right. We lay that in there, right? It's like dice all together, all the two chilies with salt, pepper, now and that'll then, boom. give it a bit of a kick. Now, y'all do your just own hot bit. sauce, right? There are chilitos? Too hot for you. Hmm? No, never your too own hot. Fiona's gonna have some. Yes, yes. So now what? Then you mix it up, and you're gonna give it probably about 10 to 15 minutes. So the, that meat is getting marinated with all those flavors from the it, chilies. It's cooking in itself. It's cooking. Isn't it? okay. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> now the, the citrus is what's going to cook. It's okay. going to cure the fish. Let's do it. To make it safe to eat. Very good. So that makes now, it safe for to all eat? those ceviche lovers, okay, this is a very important tip. And very, very important. Don't forget this, okay? When you're squeezing the lime, okay, yeah. squeeze the lime to the point that you can only get the juice from the pulp. If you squeeze it too hard, then you, your juice is start coming bitter because you're picking up the cysts and all the from the, the, oh. the outside. All right, very good. So, so what's next? How are we going to eat this? Yeah. Because we run out of time. Yeah. Okay. This is the finished product right here. We're going to do it on tostadas. Tostadas. Here it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we only got like a minute to do the steak over there. So okay. we need I'm on it. <laughs> here, I'll go ahead and put this on here. Okay. Go ahead and work on the steak while we load this yeah. up. Al? Al, we need to work on the steak. Okay. Got like 25 seconds. I've thrown these on, on, onto these. What, 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 do I, what else do I need to do? Oh, tell them oil. what you're making over there. Ante, what is it? What are you making? Kebabies. Kebabs. Anticuchos. Anticuchos. Like Anticuchos. Yeah. Okay. Top loin top kebabs. Normally, the anticuchos in Peru is made out of cow heart, but oh. that won't work here in the United States. So, <laughs> the frown so upon we that. Use, <laughs> we're using the same recipes, but we're using uh, a better grade of meat, which is the... Uh, uh, Loin. Okay. okay. And of course, I mean, we're doing this here right now, but on your grill outside in your backyard, it's going to taste 10 times better. Oh, of course, because okay. you're going to have it over, yeah. When you then plate the grill, then it's going to go with the sauce. Okay. okay. Put the sauce on it. We're going to go with the sauce. What's this in the sauce? It's a cheese sauce with a yellow pepper cheese sauce. What's in the sauce? On the sauce, you get a. What's in the sauce? A yeah. little mayo. Mayo, and what are the ingredients? Real quick, because okay. we got to go. Yeah, we're out of time. Give us the list. Mayo, some yellow peppers. Okay, what else? And you, you put a lot of cheese on it. Cheese. Yeah. All right, you can find all of Chilitos Express wonderful recipes. It's Papalo and Caina. Yeah. As we keep cooking on SA Live, go to salive.com. We're coming right back. A little bit. We're going to hand these out. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. Living with fun. Okay, we've decided to take over the show. Fiona and I are not leaving the table. Nope, nope. We got to finish what we started. Yes. And Chef Al Maldonado, of course, from Chilitos Express is here. And I've had this sirloin sizzling over here. And we are making sirloin anticuchos. Anticuchos, right? yes. Uh -huh. All right. So I've got them here. And there's a marinade that goes with it. Right. To marinate the anticuchos, you marinate it the night before. You put a little uh, garlic. You put a little uh, cumin, oregano, black pepper, and a little bit of soy sauce and vinegar. All you have mixed in the blender, you marinate them, and then they're ready to go the next day. Okay, so they're ah, good to go so they now. they want to go the night before, yeah. So yes. they've already been marinated, yeah. of course, right? Of course. The best way to do this is outside in your grill when you're having a cold beer. 
Okay. There you go. Yes. yes. Uh, where, where is the, where do we keep that out? So yes. these are finished. These are done. These are finished. All right. Yes. So you've now. lined the plate with potatoes, and there's a, pot there's a cheese sauce. It's a cheese sauce that's made out of our yellow peppers, the Peruvian yellow peppers, right. the famous Peruvian peppers. So we've already put the peppers in. We put a little bit of mayo. We got cheese in there. We got a little garlic in it. We got the peppers on it. We're going to put a little mustard on it. All right. Okay. We're making the plate now. Yes. Lunch is ready, Fiona. Yes, look at this for and just moments we're gonna, away. We're going to start rolling with this. Oh, yeah, we get to do power tools now. Power. Right? Oh, we're there pouring we stuff we're in adding? at the same time. What is that? That's uh, uh, milk, evaporated milk. Evaporated half, milk. Half water, half evaporated milk. Okay. Crank it up, man. And so this is the cheese sauce that will be on the plate next to the potatoes and the... And the a little uh, salt. Sirloin and picuchos. Liquify. We're going to liquefy. Liquefy, uh, liquefy, baby. We hey, want to liquefy. Al, it's a tradition. When you cook, you ready? <laughs> ready. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think we own the sauce, baby. <laughs> yes. Why did you guys drink on the commercial break that I missed? <laughs> it's that marinade. That's what I'm telling you. Al loves All to right. cook. See, like, when you get him loosened up, he can be a lot of fun. <laughs> Chilitos Express is what's happening. Go ahead and just dress those potatoes up right there, Al. Pow, look at that. Oh, let's get that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just take a, there. take a swig out of there. Look at this. There's a cheesy sauce. Oh, it's called wow. Papa La Huancaina. Papa, Papa La Huancaina? Yeah. And then yeah. you Peru, want the remember, on Peru, there? we got 4,000 kinds of potatoes that we can do. It goes with a little bit of. Uh, there are the. A black olive. And look the cuchos. Look, look at this. Oh, and then some black olives on there with the potatoes. There and. You go. Bam! There you go. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Free trip to heaven, right there. <laughs> there it is, Al. All right. Look at that. Now the ceviche. There's Al. But well, we got that. Yeah, so we did, we finish. We did finish that earlier. Oh, the two each is done? Is it? Yeah, that's the finished product, right? And we've got it. But well, they, they taste it. And we got the ceviche. There we had the ceviche. Okay. All of these recipes on NSAlive.com. You're going to load it up. There oh, we go. There you go. I'm too I'll taste it over that here. one. Yeah, you want the meat. Yeah. yeah. There, there, there you go. Oh. Oh, that's works. See, but I got a chip here. The messier, the better. That's right. Music, please. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, oh, hey. Yeah, we can't sing. We're magical. The rhythm is going to get you. Yeah. Oh, and don't forget, the chilito sauce goes on anything. You want some hot sauce? We'll be right back. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> All of a sudden, you take over the show, Al. <laughs> <laughs>